Presented by Caltech. Today is what Caltech is all about. It is a remarkable place, as you know, because of the fearlessness in attacking big problems. Well, what we've done here at Caltech is hijacked the genetic code for our purposes. We now know why you can become addicted to nicotine, but not paralyzed by nicotine. Why is the evolution of Mars so fundamentally different from that of Earth's? Are there still environments that are potentially habitable? And are they inhabited? We all remember the unfortunate financial crisis of 2007, 2008. And one reason for that crisis was excessive risk taking. The way managers are paid influences how much risk they take. How fast do brains compute? We know how many neurons there are. We know roughly the average activity for neurons in the brain. This is bewildering. Where do we begin? Well, let's press forward regardless because we're at Caltech and we embrace problems like this. Los Angeles is in fact at risk. All imported water conveyor systems cross the San Andreas Fault. So if there is a place that we could call the birthplace of earthquake science and engineering, that would be Caltech. Many children with autism have gastrointestinal symptoms. So we took these animals that have features of autism and we fed them a specific probiotic that we discovered. These mice started verbalizing more, they communicated with other mice. And so in, in theory, we have corrected this disorder, at least in mice. This is what you can do at Caltech that you can't do elsewhere. Perhaps the most important thing that we do is to create that environment which maximizes people's creativity. But also exceedingly important in my view is the passing on of this culture. That each generation has to challenge the next generation. Don't be ordinary. We're showing our research working with human subjects who are paralyzed. We make implants uh, into their brain and they can then think about making movements that they normally can't make. We have a robot limb here, which we can show how the limb works. It won't be connected to the brain, but it gives you an idea of how it can be used by the subject. This is the Mars weight version of the rover, and it's what we use to test how well it drives up hills, how well it drives in sand, how well it drives over rocks. We have the interferometers here, and we're excited to use them, and we're excited to show what uh, physics, math, and astronomy is all about, and how we're breaking through. We are the place that can provide the environment and the resources that allow the most creative, original people in the world to thrive, to make contributions that will change the world. These breakthroughs come because of the people who are doing it. And the Breakthrough Campaign is all about people. Our community will be part of changing this world and helping build a better future.